I almost had her. There's a spell you get later that can heal any status ailment, and I kind of wonder if you can use it while petrified. It's actually pretty rare that you get petrified in this game. There's not a whole lot, there's not many monsters that can do it. Typically, you're getting poisoned or paralyzed. And I don't think any monsters can do it on touch. Most enemy projectiles are easy to dodge if you know that they're coming, which you typically do because enemies have to stop before they can fire. It's when you're moving around, because your little man moves pretty quick in Crystallis. He Sanix around pretty good. So just kind of blustering into enemies like that is more common than getting hit by projectiles. I can't think of a monster that petrifies you. Later on, there are enemy projectiles that are much harder to dodge, that have much... Actually, not a more status ailment, probably still better than petrify. Ah, but now... We're done there. Let's go ahead and drop one more save. Now we head south. So we can do something fantastic now. Well, no, we have to do one plot flag, then we can do something fantastic. Because at this point in the game, like, yeah, you met some wise men, you found some swords, but you haven't really pieced together your main quest. Like, what's your actual objective? And so the game at this point decides to reward you with an actual story beat. If we head up this way, the guardian of this tree will not speak to you unless you bring him the sword of water. But if you have the sword of water, he gives you the ball of water, and you can use the ball of water to make ice bridges. And then you get this scene where you're... I guess Lover? I'm not really sure what the connection between these two characters is. Uh, her name is Messia. I guess maybe it's supposed to be Messiah. She's like the savior of... Like, you and her are like the saviors of the people. Uh, but yeah, she and you both wake up in cryostasis in different chambers in different parts of the world. Although the randomizer has a flag that I really like that connects this map here with Messia's cryo chamber to the Valley of Leaf. You can just walk straight there from the beginning. So just to kind of mix up whether your seeds are going to have to start in the Valley of Leaf or start in the Waterfall Valley, which is where we are now. Uh, okay, I think we can teleport back to Portoa now. Is good. Uh, I've got enough money to upgrade my armor, so I'm going to do that next. Purchase some platinum armor. Love it. Now that we have the Ball of Water, and seen Messia's message, neither the Queen nor the Fortune Teller are here anymore. But we can now go into this cave and make some progress. Turns out this cave is connected to the Fortune Teller's hut. Because, surprise, shock, amaze, the Queen and the Fortune Teller were the same person. They were Asina, the third wise man. Wise woman, I guess. The four wise men, their main shtick is if you use this telepathy spell, you can co communicate with the four wise men. So you can communicate with Asina before now, but she doesn't tell you anything useful unless you've actually met her. So if you get stuck in the game, that's how you get unstuck. You talk to your wise men and, oh, I used my medical herb. Shoot. The use item button is the same as the use sword button, but I got a backup medical herb, so it's fine. We can heal this injured dolphin, and now with the shell flute, we can call the dolphin once we get out to the ocean. But we can't get out to the ocean yet, because we have to get a boat, a little canoe, to take us downriver from Portoa out to the ocean. Once we get out to the ocean, there's all these whirlpools everywhere, and Asina says if we calm the whirlpools out on the angry sea, she'll teach us more magic. So, there's a man with a boat who lives next to the town over there across that bridge, but he won't let us use his boat because he's a big grumpy pants. We can make him happy by finding a lost item. There are two caves in Waterfall Valley. Well, three. The waterfall itself is a cave, I suppose. But there's two kind of side caves. Ow, I bumbled right into you, didn't I? No good. And we want to just head up across the river here, and this flying creature is... Yep. Yep. He kind of got us before the screen scrolled. It's fine, though. 
and we'll go into these- we have to do both of these caves and get items from both of them. Before we can move on. What do we need to- Yeah, Sword of Water works on- Oh, I'm paralyzed. Well, if you're paralyzed, all you can do is chop. You can't actually charge up your sword at all. Which will be okay until we get to a wall. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and recover that. Each recover spell costs 20 MP, and I'm going to need to heal. We want 20 when we're done here. Really? I can sort of fire these guys. Oh, you know, I should just keep the sort of fire equipped then. Go ahead and keep paralyzing me. Whatever. It's fine. It's all good. Paralysis for days. Yeah, keep doing it. It's fine. What? Whatever. It's wonderful. I love it. I love it! Love being paralyzed. Not poison, though. Poison's not good. Alright, so, go ahead and recover one more time. That puts us at 46. We'll go ahead and refresh. Down to there. Sword of Fire should be fine here, right? And, yeah, we need to go level 10 right here. Is not super difficult, because these monsters line right up for you. But once we get out of these caves, we can't... Actually, I think at 9, maybe there's something, like, on the Angry Sea itself we can fight monsters, but the Angry Sea itself is a bad place to level. But this cave is a great place to level. As you can see. I wonder when I'm done here if I can afford a shield, if I should buy a shield. Because we are going to see more and more monsters with projectiles. I think a platinum shield is like 15 hundo. Maybe we will invest. Maybe we will indeed. We could go get the blizzard bracelet uh, right now if we wanted to the level 3 water sword attack, but it's not necessary yet, and we have to go to that area of the game later anyway. And I don't think we just- I don't think we want to go there twice. We don't want it to double dip. It's not necessary. And I can't think of a reason to get it prematurely. I can't think of anything the blizzard bracelet is particularly useful for until that time. I guess it makes sword switching a little easier. Uh, because if you want to freeze a river, you've got to equip the sword and the ball of water individually. If I had all three bracelets, I could just keep the bracelets turned off and switch my sword, and whatever sword I switch to would give me the level 2 charge for. Once you own a bracelet, you can charge level 2 without equipping anything. Unless you have a power item from another sword equipped, in which case you can only go level 1. This is all very complicated. It will all be on the quiz. But it's an open book quiz, so... However, I do grade on a curve, and I do have some obsessive viewers that watch every second of every single video I put up. I know this because if I make a mistake or an error in any video, like if I misspeak about something, or if I, like, go into the wrong room or go the wrong direction, they'll leave me a comment letting me know. I read all of your comments, and they're all beautiful. I love all of you so much. I do have my YouTube analy uh, like analytics page, like all my stats and everything. I don't know what any of them mean. My understanding is that like watch time is the most important stat, and I have pretty good watch time compared to my video length. But so far I have not been able to translate that into tricking the algorithm into showing other people my Crystallis videos. Crystallis just must not be that hot of a property, I guess. Ooh, I knocked them both off screen that time. That was a slow cycle. Alright, I think we can be done there for those guys. Let's go ahead and move on now. 
do I want to go up this way? Not actually sure. That's a mimic, yes. Can we kill him? We can. We're poisoned. That's fine, because we leveled up and I can recover once. I've also got antidotes. No! I'm below 20 magic points! Oh, that's too bad. Okay, then I guess we're going to use warp boots when we get to get out of here. Actually, the next level up would have pushed me back over 20 and I would have been okay. Oh, bats aren't even damaging me anymore. I've got too much defense. Okay, never mind. Bats are not a problem. We have to go through two floors of this cave that look really... I just said bats aren't a problem, and then the bat knocked me into the mushroom, and I got poisoned. Well, here's one of my antidotes. I think I want to keep going... This is a... It was a mimic. And here's my last antidote. Alright, if we get poisoned again, I'm just going to have to shotgun this cave. <laughs> I think I want to go right down here. I want to go to the right... I think left is just a big stupid dead end. But yeah, this direction looks promising. I almost got poison right there. I almost stepped right into that mushroom. Uh, let's just go ahead and keep this, the wind sword. I think there's a spot in this dungeon where I have two rocks back to back. Not here, though. We still have to go across a couple of bridges, I think. Is this going to be correct? I mentioned there's two other caves we have to explore in Waterfall Valley. One is really short and one is really long. Here, here we go. Back-to-back -back rock walls. What did I tell you? Do I know my stuff or what? Here's the first bridge. When you kill a monster under the bridge, the coin the monster drops falls on top of the bridge. That's how physics and gravity both work. And you can still collect the coin from under the bridge because coins bend the space-time continuum in unexpected ways much of the time. I don't want to get shot again. Let's get him off screen. Okay. I didn't have a charge to push him away, and I didn't want to get shot again and become paralyzed, because I can't heal paralysis anymore. And I can't fight the lizard men and the eyeball men at the same time. Actually, you know what? Maybe with the Sword of Water I can. Yeah, they, they both like the Sword of Water. It's cool. It's literally cool, because when I kill them with the Sword of Water, they disintegrate into a pile of ice cubes. Very refreshing indeed. Alright, so if we had gotten paralyzed, this is where our journey ends, because we still have to power up level 2 to get through this wall. And there's the fog lamp. Whew. Uh, so I can't teleport out, gotta use the warp boots, that's fine though. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and buy a shield. Now we have our first shield. We could have got this shield for free by using... Here, let's, let's just demonstrate real quick. I've got 2715. If I highlight the shield and do that... Oh, did I do it backwards again? I think I did it backwards again. I think I just spent all that money on nothing. Wait, what if we highlight the nothing and do that? I don't have enough money. Wait, but it should cost zero, right? I think it's abundantly clear that I don't understand how this glitch works. Oh no, I bought a bunch of shields. So I did the glitch backwards, and that sucked for me, but... I can sell all of these ill-gotten shields now and make some bank. Don't tell anybody, though, that... I mean, I'm just making back the money that that guy stole from me. That's all I'm doing. Get rid of that useless armor. 
Nice. Classy, classy stuff. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and hit this in. Drop a save here, and there's one more cave in Waterfall Valley we need to go through. So you've got a nice jump start on level 11, which we're going to farm up in the next area. Once we make it to the Angry Sea, we're not quite there yet, though. There's one little side quest we do have to complete. We don't have to complete it until later, but... It's pretty much just the mirror image of the cave we were just in. Just a little shorter, so we'll drop the save here. And same deal, I think we're going to switch to the Wind Sword quite a lot in here. Oh, these guys only like the Fire Sword, though. You also like the Fire Sword. Okay, we'll keep Fire for these... ...these nerds here. Whoa, you didn't take any damage from that? He didn't get caught at all, he just... Like, he, he's got the jukes today. My jukes, not so much. His jukes, amazing. Maybe I should have done this cave first, because I would have got all the sorts of experience from this cave, and then the second cave, we just get the remainder taken care of in the small room with... What are these things, like, anemones of some kind? I'm not even sure. The important thing is I don't know which way to go in this hallway, so we're going to try this way. No way to tell if this is right or not. Unless I open up a map, but that definitely would be cheating, and I've already cheated once in this video. The people would riot if I cheated twice in one video. They'd be like, I thought we subscribed to Brick Road, not Cheat Road. I do know this about the algorithm, though, is that actually subscribing to somebody doesn't actually do anything anymore. Unless you also click the like, little bell on their video, because if you subscribe to someone, you're saying, Hey YouTube, I want to see this dude's videos. But maybe not all his videos. You have to click a little notification bell now, and it says, Hey, I really do want to see all this guy's videos. I don't understand why these are two different features. You would think that if you subscribe to a channel that you do want to see all their videos, or at least have all of their videos presented to you, so you can make a decision on which ones you want to watch. I guess there are some people in the world for whom it is helpful that the robot makes that decision for them. Like, yeah, you subscribe to this channel, but I'm a robot, so I'm going to go ahead and second guess you and your feeble monkey brain. Okay, we have a Carissa plant now. So, we want to teleport back to Portella. And... We have everything in place now. So come in here. Give this man his fog lamp. Get in his little boat. Head on down the river. Out into the angry sea. And this is, my friends, is where I leave you the first time in Crystallis. Thank you for watching. We will resume our adventure in the next video. Shoutouts to Frago Rock for sponsoring this video. If you liked the video and you'd like to see more, please tickle my thumb, leave a friendly comment, and ring my little bell.